Hi, Rafe and Esther, how are you guys doing today? Very good. Wonderful. Greetings from Toronto, Canada, uh, where we love the show. And I binged through the entire season three. I was so happy for you too, I have to say. But one thing I love so much is the relationship between, um, you know, Nikki and Jason. It's so lovely. I would think by now, Esther, you guys have a shorthand with each other. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think even like, I think from the off, I think we had a bit of a shorthand, didn't we? We were... Um, yeah, it's just kind of, we've, I feel like I've known you for forever. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's just, it's so, that's so lovely to have because you kind of, you know that you've got like a really good teammate with you that can kind of, yeah, it's like speaking each other's language. It's just, and it's so lovely to work and have that uh, relationship with, I think. Yeah. yeah Rafe, really why, do, why does it work so well with the two of you, Rafe? Um... I don't know you just meet people sometimes that you click with right as human beings and right uh and I think that it's about having a similar perspective on things uh, yeah yeah and the things that you're the, the things you know uh, Esther's got a really amazing brain and she's really funny I love the way that she sees the world mm. uh, um and you know all that warmth that Nikki possesses that's Esther you know that's her and funniness and um loveliness and and you know, you want to be around lovely people. And I'm very lucky that I get to have that. Yeah. Um, I love the season because obviously they, they get the Well, they have their ups and downs. It's a tumultuous season, I have to say. But the relationship between you two with uh, Princess and Tyler is so lovely. And Esther, I have to ask you because there's an episode. I'm a mom. I raised two boys. Tough love, man. Like, it's hard. You know, tell me a little bit about working with these kids and what it was like, you know, shooting that episode too, because you want them so badly, but yet, you know, there's boundaries, right? Yeah, totally. And I think I, I, I'm not a parent. And so this kind of even acting that tough love and, and having to put in those boundaries, when you see their little faces looking up at you, it's like, I'm a monster. <laughs> even though I know that I'm not, I know this is, is for their own good, but it's, yeah, that's really hard. That's really tough. Also, you know, in in between shooting, like in between when we're having downtime on set. I mean, yeah, I I don't know how parents do it. I can I would give them everything. Like, do you know what I mean? I can't. I, yeah, that's um, yeah, that's really really tough. I don't think you would. I think you'd be pretty strict. I think, yeah. <laughs> well, Rafe, come on, you're a dad, so I want to ask you that because how did playing? How does being a dad? play into your role now especially in the season your scenes with the kids were phenomenal but with that little Tyler oh my goodness like I just wanted to give him a hug the whole season <laughs> mm. yeah I guess it um like I, I'm comfortable around kids I'm around yeah. kids a lot um I know you know I had a really nice relationship with, with Mickey like he's he's a really great little little guy and um you know it's knowing when to when to have fun and also when to be firm. Like it's that it's that perfect mix that I get you. I guess you get from being a dad. Um, you're not, you know, I'm not afraid of kids. Put it that way. I think a lot of some people are afraid of kids. I'm not afraid of kids. Um, and I, and <laughs> I guess good. that's what I guess that's what I have in being around children all the time. I love children. I love them. Yeah. Um, well, it comes through. Yeah. It's. I, it really, totally I really love through. being. I really love being around them. And I. Um. I. Uh, yeah. They're. They're terrific little things. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Well, good to hear. Seeing how you're a dad. That's good that you said, just said that. <laughs> okay. So when we are all kids, if we think back to when we were kids or even Rafe with your kids, we all need something as our security blanket, as we see with, you know, with Tyler in the episode. So Esther, I wanted to know for you, when you were a little girl, was there something that you had that you had to go to bed with that you could not part with? And then your parents were finally like, I got to get rid of this. Yeah. I had this um, orange teddy bear called Ted the teddy bear <laughs> and it became the most kind of like ratty little kind of ball of fluff with barely two eyes just yeah <laughs> but I actually th I, had to, I can't remember my um parents taking him off from me I can't really remember them doing that but they must have because all of a sudden he just wasn't just wasn't there anymore also what I don't know in Canada whether you, we have like dummies yeah called? yeah pacifiers. dummies pacifiers yes yeah that I remember having to send that off to Father Christmas 
So ah. I could get presents. Yeah, was that, that was two Christmases ago. So that was just that last year. Yeah, 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 just last year. That's good. That's yeah. that's good to know. Uh, Rave, how about you? If not yourself, maybe with your kids. No, I don't. But all my three kids have got their own things. Uh, my daughter has got um, a blanket that is named Mookie. Oh. Uh, my son has Teddy Freddy, my middle son. My youngest <laughs> boy has what he calls his friendies, oh. which are three sort of little blankets. <laughs> My kids were not that original. My kids called it Blanky. Blanky, yeah. Listen, it's uh, to the point. Just Same what it thing. says in the tin. Exactly. <laughs> but no, they they all they all have them. And uh, I know someone who's who's a grown woman who still has an off cutting of her blanket uh, that she uh, that she uses for comfort. She's it, look, I was going to say anything that helps to comfort. Just to wrap it up, I just wanted to know quickly from from you, Esther. Uh, you know. With, although the show is fun, there's obviously some serious moments and heartbreaks and things that go through. What was what is the most um, you know thing that maybe has touched you from a fan who has maybe been going through the adoption process and how the show has maybe affected them? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? There's there's been so many. There's been so many that every time I read them, I, I get so moved. And people, what's so lovely is people are so willing to share and go in depth with with their story, and that feels so lovely to. Uh, be trusted with that um but recently someone got in touch who'd been in touch from series one who basically kind of shared with me their all their their kind of process and up to the point that they finally got matched with this child and and it was just that I thought that was beautiful to have been um let in on their story from day one and to see it come to this beautiful kind of end that was wonderful yeah yeah that's nice. That that's the most rewarding thing about doing a show like this, Thanks. I would think. Yeah. 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 Well, congratulations to the two of you. Like I said, season three is so satisfying, and I loved it so much. And I really do appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much too. Bye. Okay. Take care. Bye bye, guys.